it's a cold December day, but it's warm inside here at Rose's Cafe in the kitchen. And today we're going to make an Italian dish that is also a favorite in America and the Philippines, lasagna. I don't really remember where or how I learned to make lasagna. I've made it pretty much all of my adult life and I've always just known how. I've never followed a recipe, but for this blog post I've written down a recipe that you can use as sort of a starting point. Lasagna is one of those things that you can vary to suit yourself and that you can make uh, a lot or more or whatever you want. It's a great cold weather dish. It's one of those rare uh, dishes that actually tastes better when it's warmed over the next day. It can be frozen. It's just a great, great thing to make. So, with no further ado, we're going to get started. Okay, to make lasagna requires three basic steps. First, you have to cook the noodles. Then you have to prepare the sauce. And then you have to prepare the layers in a baking dish to bake in the oven. So here's our lasagna noodles. Actually, the brand of noodles you use doesn't really matter too much. They're all made of durum wheat. So you want to cook your noodles according to package directions. Then drain the noodles and set them aside. Now with that chore done, the fun stuff starts. We're gonna make the sauce. First ingredient in the sauce is the meat along with the minced garlic. Now the meat we're using today is going to be ground turkey. Uh, usually you're going to use ground beef or possibly a combination of ground beef and ground pork. But I'm trying to make this heart healthy, so we're going to try ground turkey and see how that turns out. We're going to put in with that a can of commercially prepared uh, spaghetti sauce. Um, any brand you like, it's all really about the same thing. We're going to spice it up anyway by adding some salt and pepper and also some Italian seasoning. Uh, the commercially prepared Italian seasoning usually include, includes things like marjoram, thyme, rosemary, savory, sage, oregano, basil. Uh, I like that blend just fine, so that's what we're going to use. Now at this point you could also add some things like mushrooms and peppers and onions and if it were just me I would because I like those things. Uh, but some members of my family don't care for mushrooms or peppers in their uh, spaghetti sauce or in their lasagna so I'm going to leave that. My first step in making the sauce is going to be to ground the meat. We'll also go ahead and add the aromatics, that is the garlic. Meat's nicely browned now, so we're going to add the spaghetti sauce. Now at this point, we're also going to add our Italian seasoning. Uh, some freshly ground black pepper. Whatever suits your taste. And some kosher salt. Okay, now that the sauce has simmered a little while, we're ready for the third step, and that is lasagna construction. Now that we're about ready to assemble our lasagna, I want to introduce all the party guests. Of course, we remember the noodles here. Here's our sauce. And for this purpose, we're going to have three kinds of cheeses. There's some grated Parmesan cheese. Uh, there's some reduced fat shredded mozzarella cheese and I'm using some fat-free uh, cottage cheese here. Uh, you can use just about any kind of cheese you like. So you just start with, an, with a suitable baking pan. And the first thing you want to do is add just a little bit of the sauce to the bottom of the pan. You're going to start with an ungreased pan. Once you have a thin layer of sauce covering the bottom of the pan, you're going to place a layer of noodles like so. You're going to layer over that some more of the sauce now. Over that you're going to add 
some of your cottage cheese, some of your mozzarella cheese. some of your Parmesan cheese. On top of that, you're going to add another layer of noodles and you're going to repeat the process all over again until you run out of uh, food or you run out of space in your pan, whichever comes first. For me, I like the very top layer to be noodles with a nice, generous sprinkling of cheese, whatever kind I'm using gets all kind of bubbly and crunchy and it's part of my favorite thing about lasagna. Now then, here's our pan of lasagna. We're going to cover it with foil. And we're going to put it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. After a half hour, you want to remove the lasagna from the oven carefully because it's hot. Remove the foil from the top. And we want to place it back in the oven without the foil for another 10 minutes. That's going to help the top get all crispy and cheesy and crusty like I like. Time's up and it does look like it's ready. Oh yes, all crispy and bubbly. It's going to be a good dinner. So there it is, a nice pan of lasagna made with ground turkey and low fat and no fat cheeses. Mmm, -mm, I am so hungry. Well, thanks for dropping by. Come back again soon and we'll do it.